in this video you will learn how to create a responsive page in Flutter. So let me show you a demo first. You can see here we have a page with a box at the top and a list view at the bottom. If we expand the page you can see the layout will change according to the device dimension. So let's start coding. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In left folder you need to create two folders, layouts and widgets and these files, homepage and main. In inside main file, you return the material app and homepage. Be beside that, you can set a name for app bar globally. Inside widgets folder, you have items, main view and right menu. Open the main view file. You can see we have a main view class that extends from stateless widget. Inside build method, return aspect ratio widget. Set a constant size for aspect ratio. Inside child, create a container widget. Set the color to colors.green with a shade of 300. Inside child, create a center widget. And inside center widget, create a text widget with main view text. With aspect ratio widget, the dimension of child widget will change according to the device dimension. Save the file and go to the items file. Inside items file, we have items class that extends from stateless widget. Inside build method, create a list view with separator. Set the item count to 10. Set the shrink wrap to true. Set the physics to never scrollable scroll physics. Inside item builder, create a container widget. Set a little padding. Set the color to colors.green with shade of 100. Create a text widget and pass it the index of list. Inside separator builder, create a size box widget with height of 5. Save the file and go to the write menu file. Inside write menu file, create a write menu class that extends from a stateless widget. Inside build method, return a container widget. Set the color to colors.green with shade of 200. Set the head to 600. Inside child, create a center widget. And create a text widget. Save the file and collapse the widgets folder. In layouts folder, you can create layout for any device you want. But in this video, we create a layout for desktop and mobile. Inside the mobile file, create a mobile class that extends from a stateless widget. Import the items and main file from widgets folder. Inside build method, return a scaffold widget. Set a simple upper with title of mobile. Inside body, create a single child scroll view widget. Set a little padding. Inside child, create a column widget. Inside children, create a main view widget, set a little space, and create items widget. Save the file and go to the desktop file. Inside desktop file, create a desktop class that extends from a stateless widget. Import the items, main view, and write menu from widgets folder. Inside build method, return a scaffold widget. Create a simple app bar with title of desktop. Inside body, create a single child scroll view widget. Set a little padding. Inside child, create a row widget. Set the cross axis alignment to start. Inside children, create an expanded widget. Set the flex to 2. Inside child, create a column widget. Inside children, create a main view widget. Set a little space. Create an items widget. Create an space horizontally. Create another expanded widget. Set the flex to 1. Inside child, create a right menu widget. Save the file and go to the homepage. Inside homepage file, you need to create a homepage class that extends from a stateless widget. Import the desktop and mobile layouts. Inside build method, return a layout builder widget. Layout builder widget has a property called builder. Pass the context and constraints. Inside builder, check if the constraints dot max width is greater than 720. Return the desktop layout and else return the mobile layout. Save the file and run it to see the changes. You can see here we have a responsive page 
If we expand the layout, you can see the layout will change according to the device dimension. Thanks for watching. If you wanna support us, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or suggestions, let us know in the comment below.